to Sew and Tell, where sewists from fashion theater and indie sewing bring their different perspectives to the hottest topics in the sewing community. I'm Meg Healy. I'm Kate Zynard. And I'm Amanda Carestio. Today on the podcast, we're diving in for a discussion of free sewing patterns. Yay, I love free patterns. Yes. <laughs> we'll, each, we'll each share some inspiration in our Sojo segment, and we'll ask you to share something too. But before we jump in, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Had a nice snuggle with my kitty a little while ago, and uh, the sun is shining, and generally I feel pretty good. Nice. How about you? I just had to kick my kitty out of my sewing room to record this podcast because he was ferociously asking for snuggles. Yes, we could hear him. I miss the the meows. It was so cute. It was adorable. <laughs> He's pretty forward these days. I don't know if it's getting colder and he just wants to snuggle more. I'm usually okay with it, but you know. Oh. It's either like oh, uh, when we're on like meetings with you, Amanda, it's either like a cat <laughs> meow or like a dog snore. <laughs> it's so cute. I <laughs> wonder, yep. wonder which pets by Amanda. <laughs> not, not sad about it. <laughs> That's when I sometimes wish that bunnies made noises. But then it's also good because I do so much recording and filming yeah. in my studio. It could get mm-hmm. pretty noisy, but... Yeah, mine are always banned from the room while we're recording because I can see a lot of uh, microphone nuzzling going on and that would not be pleasant for anybody. Exactly. (laughs) I mean, that's so tempting. It's like a little stand. They just want to rub on everything, especially the kitties. Can they like jump up on like tape? Like they... Oh, yeah. I guess they can, right? Yeah? Yes. Cats can jump quite high. (laughs) Oh, can they? (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yep. Gus loves to hang out on top of our refrigerator. What? Really? That's his favorite spot. He he has to jump onto the cabinet and then up to the refrigerator, but he'll jump down from the top of the refrigerator. He's very sporty. Well, I guess it stays in warm up there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> and he's, you know, safe from little kid hands oh. for just a little bit. Pets just in this time, especially this year, just pets have just become like... Yeah, definitely. You know, co-workers, <laughs> like just better friend like our pets must honestly pets <laughs> must really like 2020 like their owners They're are just it. home so much and <laughs> oh, loving it oh, that's so cute oh all right well should we jump into our first segment let's do it yeah let's do it okay <laughs> i'm excited we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things and that is free sewing patterns whether you're looking for a wardrobe basic or more of a statement piece there are some true gems out there to be had we're gonna discuss some of our favorites today and before we jump in i just want to talk about free patterns in general um meg and kate i'm interested do you guys sew free patterns very often? For me, it's, it's sort of. I've got a few in my kind of go-to pile, and then sometimes I will try out some of the others that I have run across in my time. I certainly don't seek them out specifically as opposed to patterns that you have to pay for, but I'm always happy to find something that I like that's free. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, I, I'm i starting to sew with them more now. Before for the last like five years, all I would ever sew was Berta patterns that were, you know, working so closely. With the, they were, I guess, technically free for me because they were right. part of the job. But now I'm branching out and I'm using a lot more free. Actually, my first sew your roll pattern that was a free pattern and I sewed that free skirt pattern. so I'm a lot more this year as I'm starting to dive more into indie patterns I'm definitely sewing some free ones which is great. Yeah, I've noticed I really have I have some free patterns that I go back to time and time again. And, yes, yes. You yes. know, hack them and just their real wardrobe workhorses for me. I also find that like when a free pattern gets released, it's usually that's like the cue jumper for me. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sew that right now. I'm gonna download it, put it together. And if I don't do that, I don't tend to go back to them, maybe. Mm. Like if I don't sew it right away, because I think that free patterns in general. I mean, there are definitely some more involved mm-hmm. ones out there, but they're usually like the, yeah. kind of basics. Yeah. And I mean, those are my very favorite thing, but I kind of either get initially excited about it or don't tend to go back. I've kind of noticed that. But 
I do super love them, of course. Do you have any reservations about free patterns in general? I think for me, I tend to sew pretty basic shapes. I'm still very much into boxy silhouettes. And so I'm not really ever looking for anything fitted or, you know, with intricate seaming or anything. I'm pretty open to just jumping right in and not making a muslin and just (laughs) sewing something up, you know, and sometimes that doesn't work out. But for things that are more involved, I'm probably a little bit more cautious and want to do a little bit more research about what other things the person has has drafted, what their sizing looks like. And, you know, do a little bit of research before I invest a whole lot of time. But how about you guys? Well, actually, one of the reasons I like free patterns is because they're kind, they kind of are that research um, for me. Yeah, that's a good point. Because you can take something that you haven't invested any money in and you can try it out. And as you say, it's usually something fairly simple. It's usually not something like super fancy, but you can still get a feel for how the patterns tile together and how the instructions yeah. are written yeah. and all of those little details that kind of give you an idea of whether you want to continue with patterns from that designer. Yeah. So that's actually something I really like about free patterns. Yeah, for sure. Especially it's, I think it's great for indie brands to kind of release. Pat- yeah. So you can get every, every pattern has a different, yeah. Like tiling system, how they're, are they like circles or diamonds or like, how are they numbered? It's yeah, it's totally, that's such a good point. That's like the research of the, I guess I do have like some reservations though. You know, it's just, I guess it's just the skeptic. Of it. It's too good to be true. It's all free. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't like to look a gift pattern in the mouth. I mean, if they want to give it to me free, if it's not a perfect pattern, well, I got it for free. So who am I complain about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's so good for beginner sewers too. Like just kind of it's the true. pressure's off. I mean, mm-hmm. I remember my good friend, we used to sew together in high school, but you know, since then she's, she said she brought her sewing machine back out this year and I linked her to uh, the Peppermint Magazine pattern. Like there's so much and she is obsessed. She's like, it's just so great for me. Like just not, I've never bought a pattern before but it's just like making me sew more and then I have more confidence about actually buying right you know a pattern so I think it's so good for beginner sewers to the free resources you're right I mean buying patterns can be a real investment and if you don't really know. know what to look for. And it took me a long time to really assess a pattern based on how many times I thought I was going to make it. So there's a lot of pressure around a pattern mm-hmm. purchase if you're new. And if you've never worked with a digital pattern too, it's you just don't know what you're getting yourself in, into as well. I remember I, when we used to get, you know, like customer service uh, on Berta, I would be forwarded people just, I haven't received mine in the mail yet. We're like, oh, it's all digital. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I do feel like, especially in the indie pattern side of things, a lot of people, you know, have a newsletter freebie. So you sign up for their newsletter and you get the freebie. And I'm totally okay with that. I feel like I try to stay up to date with what people are doing anyway. So I don't, I never mind signing up for a newsletter. Oh, no. Um, Yeah. I always put my email in there to get, to get anything. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Just give it to me. Oh, yeah. Just just give it to me. (laughs) Well, let's do jump in and talk some pattern specifics. And I thought we would start with favorite tops. And I think this is probably where I've got most of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Me too. Because tops are, you know, approachable and sizing isn't usually too big of an issue. Kate, why don't you get us started here? Oh, yeah. So... One of my favorite patterns of all time, especially in the summer, is the Lago Tank Mm -hmm. from Itch to Stitch, which is a free pattern. And it is absolutely one of my go-tos. I did have to do a little bit of resizing on my first one, but I just make it with a resized pattern and I just make it over and over and over. Actually, Meg, my first Sew Your Roll was also a free pattern because it was the Lago Tank. Oh, yeah? (laughs) Yeah. So, um, yeah, can't say enough about that one. Just really love it. It's a very basic tank, but it's, it's just so good. 
I also really like the Athena Top by Tasudi Fabrics. I've only made it once and I do actually need to do a little adjustment before I make it again because the sleeves are a little bit tight on my arms, but I really like the shape of it. It's really comfy. I made it in flannel. I really like wearing it except for that slight tightness. So that's a really nice one. And then the Sage Tea by LB Textiles is actually a men's tea pattern, Oh, which I picked up actually to make a t-shirt for Mark because he specifically requested a t-shirt out of a certain fabric. And I was like, okay, go find a men's tea pattern. And somebody suggested it to me. And that's a really nice one too. Just basic tea, but it goes together really nice and fast and good pattern. Mm. Nice. I am also a really big fan of the Athena Top by Tasudi. I have made that thing in a lot of different fabrics. And it's so basic, you can really, you can hack it to however you want. You can make a tunic, you can make a cropped top. There's just a lot of ways to kind of make it your own. I also really love the Monroe Turtleneck by Tasudi. Oh. It's got a similar shape to their, they have another free pattern called the Mandy boat tee or boat neck tee. It's boxy, drop shoulder, and the Monroe has more of a um, kind of fitted mock turtleneck neckline. And it's a really great pattern. It's got that nice balance of kind of fitted at the neck and then kind of swings away from the body, which y'all know I personally <laughs> love yes. a lot. Mm-hmm. The Hemlock Tea by Grainline Studio is another one of Yes. I've made that thing probably 20 times. I think I've got a um, blog post on So Daily talking about kind of my four favorite ways to hack it. But I just go back again and again and again. And I believe that one has actually, it was one size for a long time. And then I believe it's been regraded to be more size inclusive. So I think that's a really great one. On the other end of the spectrum is the Deer and Doe Plantain Tea. And I've also made this one a ton of times as a t-shirt and as long sleeve. And it's more of a fitted silhouette with a nice deep scoop neckline. It kind of kicks away at the hip a little bit. So you it's nice and roomy, but fitted through the shoulders and the bust. And it's a definite, it's one I go back to time and time again. I did have a few tanks on my list as well. One is the Durango tank by Hey June Handmade. Ooh. And this was one I remember she dropped this free pattern and I made it like that night. Oh, I just wow. kind of dropped everything. And you know, tank is, it was an easy pattern to print out and tile. It's a nice racer back tank with a, a seam up the back. So it's also very scrap friendly. And also it's got kind of an A-line shape. So it can be kind of sporty, but if you made it in um, a slightly more upscale fabric, I think that A-line kind of makes it a little dressy. You've got dressy potential there as well. As well as the Luna Tank from Helen's Closet. That one's actually one of the newer freebies on my list. And it's a swingy, kind of a classic tank shape. Swingy, a little bit cropped. I've seen people making a lot of really like comfy pajama sets with that one. Ooh. Mm. Because it's really, it's like the perfect comfy tank, but it would also be perfect with those wide leg elastic waist pants come next summer when it warms up. Mm -hmm. Um, And one of my other favorites is from Peppermint Magazine. Their wrap top is really great. Yes. It's a great fit. You can make it without the sleeves, but it comes with nice long sleeve option. And that one, I've seen people make that up in a ton of different fabrics. And again, do a lot of hacks to kind of yeah make it unique. That one would work for knits and wovens, right? Could it? You think? I, I think so. I could see that one in like a. I would like to make that in like a more like a stable like a sweater knit. That would be so cute. Like just like wrap it around. Ooh, that's another one on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Meg, do you have any other favorites in terms of tops? Well, the only like reference I have to a a free top that I've made recently is the boxy top from Peppermint Magazine. So that one was a great one. That was my Sew Your Roll one. It buttons up the back and lots of bands. So that was more intricate. It was really great. It came together so well and I really love it. I haven't made it again since, but it's on my list. But I do have the hemlock tee printed out. And also the Sparrow Tea by Common Stitch. That's another Mm. just like really nice basic. Uh, I haven't made it yet, but I have it printed out as well. And there's a loungewear set from Peppermint Magazine too I have printed out that looks super cute. (laughs) My friend did make that with the one that I mentioned I sent her. She's obsessed with that loungewear set. And it's like 
one down, like, you know, one email address for two patterns. So it's like even yeah. that. For you. <laughs> oh, it's gosh. a good deal. <laughs> it's a good deal. <laughs> Sold oh, for free. Yeah. Are you still planning to do your t-shirt yes. pattern review? I bet there are some good free t-shirt patterns out there. Do you know what I should do? I think there's, I should pick three free ones. Yeah, that'd be great. And do a free t-shirt roundup because I have the sparrow tea, the hemlock tea, and I'm sure I could find another one as well. I think you guys mentioned some other teas on here, didn't you? Mine had the sage tea, but that was a men's tea. That would be a good one to add though. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So let's do the sage tea, the sparrow tea, and then, geez, I'm losing my mind. What was the other one? Hemlock. The hemlock tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of another S word. <laughs> that would have been cool if they were all S names. Though. It would have been. But yeah, that'll be really useful. There's another one, the Stellan Tea by um, French Navy Patterns is one that's been on my list as well. Well, I have to do that one because it starts with this. <laughs> Great. Done. You'll do your free t-shirt patterns that start with an S roundup for people. Yeah. Pattern review. I love it. <laughs> Oddly specific. I know. But, and I think I want to make them all in this. I'm going to get uh, a bunch of like white t-shirts. So it'll be easier to compare them with all the same fabrics, right? Mm. That's a great point. So I'm just going to get a yardage of like kind of a white t-shirt next. My white t-shirts just get... I have never had one for more than a year. Like I stain them. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is about what I spill on my... Or what I rip and just... It's just the white t-shirt. It gets so destroyed. This is why I don't wear white t-shirts. I don't make them. I bought one recently. It's like a white, slightly crop top t-shirt. And oh yeah, I might as well be wearing like sequins when I wear that shirt. I'm so careful and just like <sighs> I know, you know, it's it's like it would, you know, is my most expensive garment, but not really white tees. Yeah, I feel your pain. Oh. I know. It's just stains just get attracted to them more and just mm-hmm. yes. like little little things, you know. I wore a new turtleneck I made and then I was making lunch and I tossed my salad to and <laughs> I just got oh, no. oil all over the oh. I got excited. Oil's the worst. <laughs> it was the first day. I was so excited. I loved it. It was like a sweater knit, cozy turtleneck and, uh, and I was so I just quickly – took a stain treatment but I just hate when that happens anyways Mm -hmm. me too (laughs) you know one time like I had my fabric hanging on a kitchen stool before I brought it downstairs to my work area and when I got down to my work area there was like it was just fabric but my kids had already managed to get food on the fabric like (laughs) you guys you just pre-stained it for me so you know pressure's off they're they're skilled that way oh that's funny Let's talk about favorite bottoms in terms of free patterns. I had two, one that I haven't made, but one that I have. The Justine skirt from Ready to Sew is a really great button-up skirt with these really cool fold-over pockets. I love the pattern. Um, When I made it, I felt that the sizing was a little bit big for me, like what I needed to fit my waist was kind of poofy at the hips. So I actually converted it into an elastic back skirt. Ooh. And I love it even more. Super comfortable. Nice. And the other one is, that's on my list, it's been on there for forever, the Peppermint Magazine Wide Leg Pants. Oh, I haven't made those yet. Yeah. I just, you know, I love wide leg pants, especially Mm -hmm. for cooler weather. And I don't know, I've seen a lot of people have success with that one. And I think pants would be one where I might be a little bit more skeptical. Yeah. But again, I think doing a little bit of research, checking out the hashtag. Go on Instagram 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But so far, so good. People have really been enjoying that one. I'm sure there's a thread on pattern review that's free. That could be a really good resource. I haven't checked out. I'm sure there is some good insight to like you know, tried it in like good tested ones that are good. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check that out for sure. Just get more resources. All right. Any other favorite bottoms? You know, I haven't ever sewed a free bottom and I'm not sure I've ever even noticed one existing. So I can't contribute mm-hmm. to this one. I'm uh, I'm just making notes. Yeah, I made the lolly skirt. Oh, yeah. For my skirt. But yeah, so that was a free, a free skirt pattern and I really liked it. It was nice and full and so that was a good one. Was that an LB textile pattern? Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm. When I was thinking about how we would approach this topic, 
I have downloaded a free dress pattern before, but I didn't end up sewing it. And I don't believe it's free anymore. But I guess a dress is probably more of an investment on the front end to develop. Mm -hmm. And also on the back end, you know, it's a little bit more complicated fitting wise. Yeah. So less dresses there, but plenty of good options otherwise. Let's talk about accessories and bags. I know, Kate, you had a few that you had listed out to mention here. Yeah, definitely. It was actually kind of funny when I started to think about the free patterns that I was aware of out there in the world. It turned out I was not really all that up on garment patterns, but I had so mm. many ideas for where to go find like little accessories and bags. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can find so many like little accessories. Yeah, just really nice stuff. So um, I'm going to start by suggesting the Coco handbag from Chris W. Designs. She does all purses and bags and I really like her, her style. i made, let's see, the sugar and spice bag, which is not a freebie, but um, I have the Coco downloaded. And at some point I'm going to go ahead and do it. It kind of gives you an intro to bag sewing and it's real cute. Also, Sally Tomato has a, just a little collection of free stuff that is great. There's a little wristlet, there's a couple of purse options, and then there's some storage cubes and baskets, all of which would make great gifts, by the way, if you're looking for something free to sew for gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing with C&T Pub. They're a book publisher, actually. But if you go to their website, which is ctpub.com, across their top menu, they have a free projects button. I didn't know that. I have to check that out. Yeah, it's really extensive. They've got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. They create craft text, which is a paper that's sort of treated. I love that stuff. I know. It's so cool, right? So it's sort of like leather or vinyl. It's really sturdy and it kind of moves like fabric and you can sew it like fabric. So they have a bunch of free projects that you can use for craft text, but they also have some quilt patterns and some small sewing projects. So again, some really great gift ideas. Mm-hmm. And then another another bag pattern designer that I really like is Little Mood Designs, which is actually down in Australia. Ooh. And they have some super cute freebies on their site. A couple of pouches. One of them is so adorable. It's called the Fortune Cookie Pouch, I think. And it's a little miniature triangular zipper pouch. It's just adorable. They've also got a set of fingerless gloves, a glasses case, and some more stuff. There's a lot of cool little options in there. So with bags and accessories, you can really find some awesome stuff. And those are some of my favorite places to go to find that sort of thing. Actually, Berta, their DIY posts actually have a lot of free templates in them. I've made a ton of them. Mm -hmm. Lots of free bags too. And I've made a glasses case and eye masks and little downloads that are free in kind of like the DIY section of the blog. I forgot to mention earlier, we were talking about dresses before we moved on to accessories, but I've I've made the everyday dress from Peppermint Magazine. It's going to be featured in episode two of season two of Style Revive. So you can see how I made it into like a, I used a tablecloth to make it. And that's another, yeah, good thing to kind of experiment with is free patterns using just things, you know, around your house to like test them out before you go in fashion fabric. Yeah, get a, make it up in a little shower curtain or tablecloth or just old sheet just to get the feel for it. And also like try out a different silhouette. Yes, 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 yes. Because isn't that, is the everyday dress, is that more of the like the maxi link? It's like midi. It's midi? Yeah. There have been a couple of patterns that come out, especially through peppermint that it'd be a different style for me. And I think, again, it's... Not a big investment, just your time and a good way to take the pressure off of your making, I think. And I will also say that it is a unisex pattern because uh, Julian stole it from me and I was wearing it. He goes, I'm in a <laughs> nightgown. And I'm like, why don't you just put this one on? And you have to go to the show notes, but there's a picture of Julian in my nightgown and it's in his drawer now. So I need to make myself what? this one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it was so funny. Actually, I text uh, my mom a picture of Julian in this nightgown and my mom goes, well, that's what they're showing on all the men's runways. <laughs> So in fashion. So it's a great unisex kind of nightgown pattern. Nice. Awesome. One more on the accessories front. I haven't sewn it yet, but I've prepared all my pattern pieces for the All Well Full Moon Bag. Oh. And this is a, I think it's All Well Workshop. I'll put a link in the show notes. But it's a nice, really basic round bag that I'm 
kind of dying to make up in denim. Ooh. But it's a great freebie. I think you have to sign up for the newsletter, but it's a really great gift. Mm-hmm. It's not a complicated bag by any means. I also wanted to say that with each episode of So News, there are freebies to be had. So those are available on So Daily. The instructions are in the magazine, but the templates and pattern pieces are available on So Daily for download, as well as whenever we have a So News Sew Along or a Bird of Style Sew Along, those are freebies. Yeah. And you get a video that shows you how to put it together. Yes. I was going to talk about my favorite freebie pants, but they're not free anymore. But those are the Pagosa pants and the... Yes. (laughs) The Pagosa pants. And the Loveland leggings. And the Loveland leggings. I have made them so many times. I would say, yeah, that was, they were free at one point. Right. But they're not anymore. So they're not anymore. But we always have at least like one. There's always like. Oh, we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now there's actually what? Our party skirts. Right, Amanda? Right. (laughs) Those are free. So we've always got something good on our website as an offering as well. Any other thoughts on free patterns? Well, I actually, I'm also another good resource is I didn't realize how Mood actually has so many free patterns. Like I was scrolling through and I found like five that I downloaded. You don't have to submit your email, but they have some really cute patterns. They have a swimsuit that's on my list with like puffy sleeve. Like they have really fashionable stuff, especially their Tacoma blouses on my list. And it's like this like wrap. It's so elegant and so definitely check out Mood Fabrics and it comes with, you know, good instructions and patterns as well. And also you might just have free patterns lying around too. My favorite underwear pattern came from my underwear. I just traced the pattern from it and (laughs) you just like, honestly, if you have a, like a t-shirt, maybe it's this basic white t-shirt that you bought, but it's stained beyond belief. Just take it apart and trace the pattern and then you have a free pattern and you already know it fits so you can always look to your wardrobe as well for a free pattern I love that idea I do that a lot um I've been doing that more recently when I was on my bell-bottom legging kick there but I also I did it for some of my daughter's clothing as well Mm -hmm. I just traced off one of her existing leggings patterns and adjusted them and I feel like it's a good thing for kids patterns too because they grow so quickly that you know investing in a pattern might not make the most sense but I do love that Mm -hmm. I have a few pieces that I'm like one day I'll cut it apart and turn it into a pattern Mm -hmm. but it's always it's a little I know people do that I've seen people you know take apart their favorite jeans and I feel like I would be sweating bullets but think about like how awesome it is to have that pattern afterwards Mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty awesome Mm -hmm. I do that a lot with even just taking key measurements from even if a bag you just kind of take the measurement and you just kind of self-draft it yeah look to what you already have a little bit too and even for kids like you could trace a fit and then you could grade it up as well like you could grade it up so so you already have that shape just in several different you know sizes too Mm -hmm. well so many good ideas i think we're gonna have possibly our longest show notes link section ever i'm gonna be typing in my email a lot after this episode (laughs) i know i know (laughs) i'm like literally going through even just like our script notes i'm right after we're done this i'm going to be uh downloading all of them (laughs) there's definitely some i don't have (laughs) some super good ones let's take a little break and then we'll come back with the rest of our show yeah All right, now that we're all hyped up on free sewing patterns, I just, <laughs> oh, I love yeah. free stuff. <laughs> Me too. Let's, let's talk about our sojo, what's giving us our sewing mojo for the week. So, Amanda, why don't you kick us off? I am currently working on an Ilford jacket for my husband's birthday. Ooh. And I don't know, I have not been as much in the mood to sew these last two weeks, I don't think. Um, So I just need to power through because after that, I never did really go on my button up shirt kick that I was planning. Remember, I was Mm going to use all of my vintage buttons that I collected over the Mm -hmm. summer. And I think I might 
finally be in the mood to do that. So I think that's what's next after this birthday present. But I'll probably need to sprinkle in some holiday sewing as well. Oh, Although yeah. I'm not there yet. I'm trying. Just not there yeah. quite yet. I Yeah. I hear you. How about you, Kate? Oh, well, as I was uh, telling my co-hosts over the uh, break, I am currently working on having some curtains for my in-laws, which, you know, (laughs) not really the funnest project of all time, but I'm getting through it by thinking about what I'm going to sew after. There you go. Which... Up until very recently was the Keystone Cardigan, which is a sew news pattern. It was one of our sew alongs from last year. Mm -hmm. And I keep meaning to make myself one and I've got it all printed out and everything. And then we started talking about the free patterns and now I kind of want to do another Athena top. So I don't know. We're going to see what happens. How about you, Meg? Well, I'm in the Zadie land of like the dream jumpsuit (laughs) land. I had it cut out for a almost a month that I finally sewed it and I've already cut out three more. (laughs) Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I know. It just, I mean, now I understand the hype of that pattern. It is just magical and I just love, it's so comfy and so even last night I cut out like a dress and I printed out at lunch yesterday, I printed out seven patterns. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I have an archer in my, uh, to do and uh, the Helen's closet. Oh, what is that? I just printed it out. Gilbert. Yes, the Gilbert top. Yeah, we were talking about that one. So cute. I'm in like sewing zone. I'm just thinking about the atmosphere of like our life. And so if Julian's really into a show that I'm not into, then I just sew. And so he's really into Fargo right now. And I I haven't watched it from the beginning. And so, because since our room is just like all, so if one person's doing stuff, like I couldn't watch my own show. And so I just, you know what, you watch your show and then I'm going to cut fabric and sew. But then sometimes I'm really into a show and then he just like, hangs and fixes stuff around it. So now we're doing the flip where I'm the busy one and he's the TV one. (laughs) That's awesome. You know, I will say, I think that TV has probably cutting to my sewing time recently. I just finished up the Queen's Gambit, which... Oh, isn't it so good? It's so good. It's definitely... The fashion is so good, The fashion is amazing. Have you seen that, Kate, yet? No, we just... You would love it. You would love it. We just put it on our list, and we just finished up something else we were watching, like, yesterday. So I think we're going to be starting that really soon. I know. And my Starbucks barista told me that I look like the girl. (laughs) (laughs) You totally do. (laughs) And I think what I was wearing that day, too, like, uh, I know. And I'm more... I have a lot of, like, vintage, like... um, really cool like coats and stuff and now I'm more reaching for like that show like inspired me to like embrace some of my and things that I'm picking out to sew like I just and the colors and I don't know I just love that I just love that show and the fashion is just amazing I feel like you should do an Instagram series and like show us some looks from the Queen's Gambit (gasps) I should do a capsule yeah the Queen's (laughs) capsule (laughs) exactly I even googled as if I don't have enough things to do. I was like, how do you play chess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I think we're going to be getting chess boards for Christmas over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm excited yep. for you to see it, Kate. In my <laughs> case, the answer is I play chess very badly. But I do know how. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea how. I just think, is it like fancy checkers? Like, I have no idea. No, each piece ha- has its own thing that it does differently its own way that it moves. But I'm not going to go into details because this is not a chess podcast. <laughs> it's complicated. Welcome to Chess and Tell. <laughs> chess and Tell. <laughs> there's, there's probably like a bazillion chess podcasts out there. Yeah. I don't know. Don't you think? Now I feel like I need to look it up. I'm sure there are. Well, you never know where we're going to go <laughs> with every episode. So let's jump into... Chess and Tell pod, it's, you know, <laughs> the So and Tell <laughs> segment where we ask you guys a question and we just love to read all of your feedback. So last episode, we asked you what's on your holiday sewing wish list. And we got so many good ideas and comments from everybody on Instagram. So let's read some. All right. First up, we heard from Smokey and Sprocket who said, I'd love to sew with leather and other hardware. So having the proper tools and getting the know-how for that is exciting in itself. Me too. I have some leather. I was like, I'm in my sewing room. I was just eyeing my leather thinking I should probably take that out and 
make a bag with it. But I think tools definitely tools, yeah. are necessary if you're going to do that. Yeah, like a little leather tool kit would be such a good gift for sure. Exactly. Then we heard from Ricky Sows who said, a so new subscription is on my wish list this year. Oh, Maybe a gift card for my local Fabricville and or another local independent online fabric store. It's called... It's so Bucky Fabrics. They're close enough that I can swing by their location for pickup. Ooh. And of course, I knew she was Canadian because fabric feels like a Canadian. And so I was like, oh, is this? I, I immediately Googled, it's so Bucky Fabrics because that just sounds so cute. But it's in Nova Scotia. Oh. So, a little far. Oh. Me. <laughs> a little far. But that's dangerous, though. Close enough for in store pickup. Who I could do some damage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, actually, Julian's job, it's right next door to this place called Fabric Fabric. And it has so much fabric. It's like bought like rolls. And so I find myself going there and then I meet him after work. And so, but I think I got like 10 yards of some things because now I'm in Zadie zone. So I got. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing. So, awesome. Also a subscription gift that keeps on giving. Yes, yep. it's true. Definitely. Uh, we also heard from a docs in the box and company or and co, I suppose, who said serger and gift cards to buy all the fabrics and a finger crossed emoji. So I hear you. I hear you. That's <laughs> yes. The serger, not so much because I already have one, but the gift cards to buy all the fabric went on my Christmas list that I've been working on these past few days. So. A serger, that is exciting. That's oh my gosh. so exciting. I've never gotten a machine as a gift, but like that is super exciting. Mm-hmm. I love it. I remember when I got my serger, it was just so, it's just the realm of possibilities just, right, right, just opened up. Yeah, it was so great. Fingers crossed. And that's a really good holiday <laughs> gift for sure. <laughs> Even mm-hmm. if you get it for yourself, I mean, there's no shame in that. No, yeah, I just wrote a blog post. It should be up on So Daily by now, but it's all about. Sewing gifts for yourself, you know? You just all about it. do it all year long. <laughs> <laughs> Why stop now? Why stop for the holidays? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we want to know now in this episode, what's your favorite free pattern? I'm super excited about this question because my list is going to grow. I'm going to be copying and pasting my email a lot more to get all these all these free patterns. And if you try a new brand and you like the style and the way that it comes together, yes, support them and, you know, go Mm -hmm. ahead and buy other patterns because, you know, support our indie, our indie pattern designers and everything. And yeah. I love that. Well, that was fun. And now I feel even more distracted from what I'm supposed to be sewing. And I just want to sew up some freebies and some new t-shirts. Sew all the things. Uh All the things. Especially for next week. Even it's spills over into Canada, the Black Friday. I'm definitely going to, I think a lot of patterns and even fabric, uh, I'm, I have all my lists that I'm going to check for all Black Friday Ooh. sales. So got to get up early. And happy Thanksgiving if anyone's listening to yes. this on Thursday to all my American uh, listeners and you guys too. I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving. I'm sure we will. Indeed. Stay safe, everyone. Mm-hmm. Don't make bad choices on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some sewing time in. Oh, yeah. That's my goal. That sounds like a good plan. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Well, fun episode, you guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, super fun. Very informative. I think we're all planning to Mm -hmm. do some searching as soon as we're done. Oh, yeah. (laughs) 100%. All right. Until next time, then. Happy stitching. Happy free stitching. (laughs) Happy free stitching. For links to everything we talked about in this episode, go to our show notes page at sodaily.com slash sewandtell. If you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at sewandtellpodcast at goldenpeakmedia.com or visit us on Instagram at sewandtellpod. Answer the sewandtell question, tell us your sojo, or just leave us some feedback. If you enjoyed our show, please subscribe on your podcasting platform of choice. And please leave us a review, ideally a good one, because that helps listeners like you find our podcast. And tell your sewing friends about us too. Thanks for listening and happy stitching. Sew and Tell is a Sew Daily podcast and produced by Golden Peak Media. It's hosted and produced by Meg Healy, Amanda Carestio, and me, Kate Zynard. Daisha Clay is our producer. Director of podcasts is Jared Mayer. Tiffany Warble is director of content. Kelsey Raderman handles our marketing. And Andrea Lotz does all things digital. If you'd like more information on sponsoring or advertising on Sew and Tell, go to goldenpeakmedia.com.